Imagine for a moment that you're in a silent room. No music, no chatter, no traffic noise, just you and the quiet. But then you realize it's not so quiet after all. There's a persistent ringing or buzzing noise that seems to be coming from within. It's like a rogue radio frequency that you can't tune out. This, my friends, is the world of tinnitus, a condition that affects millions of people across the globe. But there's a shimmer of hope on the horizon. A team led by Dr. Shaw is developing a groundbreaking neuromodulation device that they believe could be the key to quieting the noise. But what exactly is a neuromodulation device, you ask? Well, let's unravel this mystery. Neuromodulation devices are a bit like conductors in an orchestra. They don't make music themselves, but they control the tempo and volume of the instruments. In our bodies, these devices use microshocks to guide our neurons or nerve cells to fire in a certain way. These microshocks act as a reset button, helping to correct misfiring neurons. In the case of tinnitus, the problem lies in the dorsal cochlear nucleus, or DCN. Think of the DCN as the control tower of our auditory system. When it starts misfiring, it's like a control tower sending out wrong signals, leading to the phantom noise that is characteristic of tinnitus. Now Dr. Shaw and her team are creating a neuromodulation device that interrupts the DCN with these microshocks. It's akin to pressing a reset button on a faulty computer. When the microshocks stop the DCN from misfiring, it starts a decay process of the bad neural pathways, ultimately resolving the tinnitus. It's a fascinating process, isn't it? Like a symphony being conducted inside our bodies. And it's a prime example of how our understanding of the nervous system can be harnessed to improve human health. In this video, we've delved into the world of tinnitus and explored how neuromodulation devices work. We've talked about the role of the DCN in our auditory system and how misfiring neurons can lead to the persistent noise of tinnitus. And we've looked at the pioneering work of Dr. Shaw and her team in developing a neuromodulation device that could potentially provide a solution to this troubling condition. It's a complex field, but at its heart, it's about finding innovative ways to improve people's lives. And who knows, perhaps in the not too distant future, the persistent noise of tinnitus will be a thing of the past, silenced by the power of neuromodulation.